Hey Joel, it's movie night. So we'll make popcorn then? Yeah, I was about to put it in the microwave. The microwave's broke. Try the oven. The stove's broke too. Oh, try the freezer. The freezer's broke too! I got it. I just use my heat vision. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that. Whoa, 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 oh, yo, oh. yes. So movie night can finally start? Yes, yes it can. What's up you guys, Scott here from Scott Help, and today I'm gonna show you the very simple tutorial of laser vision in Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Open your video by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Add a null by going to Layer, New, Null Object and rename it Right Eye. Do the same for the left eye by pressing Ctrl D on the Null layer and rename it Left Eye. Now we'll motion track both of the eyes. Click on the original clip and go to Window and select Tracker, then click Track Motion. Make sure the motion target is the correct eye that you want to track. Now click the play button to analyze 4. If the eye moves too fast in the shot, then track it manually by pressing the farthest right button on the analyze option, then going frame by frame. Another way to move one frame forward is by holding control plus the right arrow key. For more information about tracking manually, there's an entirely separate video on my channel that covers this topic. You can go to it by clicking the link in the description or clicking right here. Once it is done tracking, make sure that the motion target is set to the correct eye and click apply and OK. Do the same process with the other eye. At this time, I also like to add information about the production of Chase. We have not forgot about it and production will start soon. However, a few other skits still lie ahead before we can go all the way in creating the mini series. Once again, make sure the motion target is set to the correct eye and click apply and OK. Now we'll draw the shape of the lasers. Add a new solid and set the color to white. Rename it laser and press T to set the opacity to 35%. Draw a mask like this for each eye and keyframe both of them. Move about 3 frames forward and every 3 frames reposition the origin of the lasers. Make sure only to move the starting point and not the end. Pre-compose the layer solid and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Draw a mask around the lasers to make it look like they shoot out. On the first frame, make it a very tiny area. Move over 4 frames and expand it very large. Also, on the first frame, trim the clip to the point so that the mask won't be visible any time before that. Now pre-compose the layer once you animate the mask correctly and turn the video to start when the laser first appears. Go to the effects and presets and add turbulent displays to the laser composition. Set the amount to 98 and the size to 6. Keyframe the offset to start at 1200 and go to the last frame and set it to 0. Then change the complexity to 2. Go back to the effects and presets and add fast blur to the composition. Set the blurriness to 5. Then add directional blur to your video and set the direction to where your laser is pointing. Once you do this, pre-compose this layer again. Add 
add a glow to your laser cop. Set the threshold to 12, glow radius to 75, and change the glow colors to A and B colors. Then set color A to yellow. Now add glow again, set the threshold to 20, the radius to 186, and the intensity to 3.5. Set the glow colors to A and B colors and make color A red. The next step to do is add lens flare to your actor's eyes. Press Ctrl Y and make the solid black. Then go to the effects and presets and add lens flare. Then set the mode to screen. Set the lens type to 35mm prime and move the lens to where your actor's eye is. Select the solid and press Ctrl D. Move this lens flare to the other eye. Parent the solid for the right eye to the right eye newel and parent the solid for the left eye to the left newel. Keep earning the brightness of each lens flare from about 0 to 80% in the first 4 frames of your video. Once you do this, add a glow to your solid and set the threshold to 95, radius to 1000, and the intensity to 3. Next we'll add a brightness and contrast and set the brightness to 10. Then add a hue and saturation effect and click colorize. Set the colorize saturization to 75. Copy all this information to the other solid by holding control while selecting each effect. Then press Ctrl C to copy the info and go to the other solid and press Ctrl V. Select the solid and draw a mask around your actor and keyframe their movement. Make sure to feather out by a lot, at least 100. Do the same to the other solid. Make sure to review your mask path and edit it if necessary. I am now pre-composing all of my layers so that I can change the contrast of the video. If you need to add any contrast or color correction to your video, make sure to pre-compose all of your layers first. Congratulations, you have now mastered the technique of laser vision. Leave any questions in the comment section below, and if this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.